I'm Matt Dwyer and today I'm playing this Eastman SB59GD. Uh, before I go on, I'm just going to tell you that my PayPal details are below the screen. If you'd like to help me out so we can keep making videos, that'd be really cool. I enjoy doing them. Hopefully you get a lot out of them as well. Now today I'm going to show you an yet another way of playing a shuffle in E. It's a wonderful thing and this is, I kind of got this off Junior Watson's version of uh, Tiger Man. Well it's not really his version, it's the guitar part that he played on Kim Wilson's version of Tiger Man, which is a great record. Now Tiger Man was originally by Joe Hill Lewis, but Kim Wilson recorded it and it's a shuffle, but instead of your usual kind of that shuffle or that shuffle, what Junior Watson played on there was actually playing the E and then going to the C sharp, back to the B, to the C sharp, and alternately going to the E at the second fret on the D string. So if you put that all together, I'll play it slowly. Sometimes you can do that hammer on from the B to the C sharp. It's just a really fun way to play it. It gives it a skip, it gives it a beat. Uh, it doesn't drag. It, it's, um, it's got some skip to it, you know, that's what I, that's what I like to call it. So if you're playing it at regular tempo, it's just a really cool way of playing it. Now, the great thing about it is it's exactly the same notes uh, over each chord in a 12 bar blues. You just change the key. So if we go from E to A, it's the same thing. We just start on the A and then back to the E. And then to the B, to the A, and then resolve to the E. It's a 12 bar blues, no muss, no fuss, nothing clever about it, but it's just a really cool swinging way of playing it. And I'll play the whole thing for you. And that's it. That's the whole song. And it's a great uh, way of playing a shuffle. That's a really good thing to have in your repertoire because when you're playing in a blues band or an R&B band, if you're playing the same thing all night, it can get a little bit monotonous and you can never have too many ideas. You've all, I'm always working on expanding my vocabulary. And uh, tonally, a really fun thing to do is, I was just playing that on the front pickup. If you go to the back pickup, turn the volume up and wind the tone down, you get this really kind of like a scronk tone. I call that scronk tone. I can't think of a better name for it. And um, it's got that really nice 50s distorted sound that 